And you know, we've been saying this for weeks, Thanksgiving, it's gonna cost you a lot more this year. WCNC Charlotte's Carolyn Bruck here with just how much more you can expect to pay. No doubt we'll be asking where's the money come next Thursday, Carolyn. Yeah, it is sad but true. Where's the money? Well, if you go grocery shopping, you know where it is. They have it. So let's talk the cost of Thanksgiving. I didn't break down every single part of the meal. I just did the standards, right? So turkey up 17% in just one year's time. A lot contributing to this. There was the bird flu and it killed off a lot of birds, but 70% higher. Ham a little bit better, but still 9% higher than it was last year. You can't have potatoes without gravy. Potatoes up 15% and that gravy is gonna cost you 15% more as well. One of my favorite dishes, you guys, you can talk about it and, and for, for viewers at home, you can at me on Twitter and complain, but it's the green bean casserole. Thank you, Vanessa. Green bean casserole is a must. The canned veggies up 18%. And that uh, cream of mushroom soup, 17% there. You gotta have dessert. Pumpkin pie up 18%. That whipped cream is gonna cost you almost 22% more. And that's the cost of Thanksgiving. The good news is you can have a potluck and ask people to bring dishes over because one person being saddled with all that cost it is a lot. That's a risk. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's well, gonna mess up the mac and cheese. <laughs> well, that's true. That makes me think too. We did that story the other day about how a large portion of people don't actually like turkey. Mm. There's your there's your excuse. We didn't get turkey, just we got more mac and cheese. There you go. And you know what? I'd be happy with that. <laughs> Brad Brad is too. Yes. We so, here over there. Thank you, Carolyn. Yep.